Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Now that my Monster Linux PC is done, I could finally try out some of these new modern games. Now, I did do a previous episode on this where it was really like my first experience uh, using my PC on Steam. And so if you wanted to see that, I have it in the description below. And also, the type of games that I like are the old retro games, the ones that I grew up with. So I have a whole series of mobile gamer episodes where I play that. But now that I've had more time to use my system, I'm going to go through some of the games that I have played so that you can kind of see the type of experience that you would get if you wanted to play games on Linux. If you are a type of person who is more of a really serious gamer, then you probably want to do that on Windows because that's really where all the games are. Even if you are a Mac user, the majority of all the games are going to be on Windows. However, there are a lot of people like myself who just want to be able to play some modern games casually. and so that's that's what I'm going to be showing you here today. Now, before I go forward, I do want to give you some brief specs on my machine itself so you kind of get an idea of what I'm working with. And so in terms of the CPU, I'm running an Intel Core i7-6700K. I am also using the AMD RX 470 GPU with 4 gigs of RAM. I have 16 gigs of DDR4 memory and everything runs on SSDs. I have two SSDs on here. And so it's a pretty, pretty powerful machine. So let's go ahead and take a look at the games that are on Linux. Okay, so the very first game I got is Rocket League. This is an extremely popular game and won many awards. I didn't know why it was so much fun. So before I get there, let's go ahead and look at the options. I've got everything pretty much at the highest. Um, I didn't really do anything with the V-Sync or Anti-Alias, but uh, let's go back here. Now, this game is not really graphically demanding. However, it does look great. And also the AI in here with all the other cars it's pretty cool and you can choose how many players are on each team so I'm gonna choose a three by three and I'm not really good at this so I've just chose rookie and this is actually the arena I like this Neo Tokyo look let's go ahead and get this started now I will say that whenever you start this at the beginning there is a slight delay because it is loading up all the other cars so and right here on the left you see there's a frame rate I have about it's over 100 so let's go ahead and get this started. So as you can see, there is the delay. But then once you get going and all the other cars are loaded up, it just starts running really smoothly after that. So, And this game is so deceptively simple. You know, I mean, the whole premise is soccer with RC cars. <laughs> and right now there's only three cars for, uh, for each team. But when you increase this amount, and especially if you're playing online, this game gets absolutely ridiculous and hats off to the developers for producing such a fun game and also making this available on Linux because a lot of people enjoy this game and it would be a shame if we could not get this on Linux and so I'm glad the developers were able to get this natively on Linux it's just really really fun and man just like soccer it is extremely hard to score oh man I just got scored on that's not good I don't want to see that replay of me getting scored on so yeah, so Rocket League, um, it's gonna definitely be a classic for many people, but it is an extremely, extremely fun game. Okay, next up I got this game called Trying. Um, this is an older game, uh, I think a few years old, but man, it's really graphically impressive. I'm not really familiar with this game. I knew there was a trying one and trying two. So I just wanted to test out the graphics here. So I don't know the story. I don't even know really what type of game it is. It kind of looks like a strategy game, but let's go ahead and skip this right here. And as you can see here, I think I had the settings on like very high. Um, you can't look at the video settings once you're in the game, but if you can look at the top left, there is the frame rate. And just remember, I am recording this as well. So you're getting about 50 to 60 frames per second. And this is, to me, a really beautiful game. So I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go. Um, it's a point and click and also with your mouse at the same time. So that's a little different. So let me see if I can get around. And as you can see, lots of uh, different graphic qualities on this game. So if obviously if you have a beefier CPU, GPU, then it's well, it'll run better. Let me see if I could go in here. Yes, so. All right, let's go ahead and begin our adventure. In the kingdom, 
And I like the graphics in this game. It's very colorful and whimsical. And the music as well. Check that out. That looks really good. But obviously the game's not going to be all like this. So let's go ahead and start this game. Wow. That looks really great on this. Now the frame rate, as you can see, it looks like it's suffering here. So it's 25 to 30. So not every game will run as well on Linux because it does have to be optimized for it. So if it's something the developers did not optimize for Linux, then it's not going to run as well as you would like. But obviously, you could go ahead and go ahead and play, uh, I'm sorry, adjust the settings and see which works best for you. But even at this one, I really feel like this is definitely playable. And if I lowered the actual graphic settings, it'll probably run even faster. Wow, that looks really good. So that is a trying three. Okay, so right here we have another popular game is City Skyline. This is basically a super advanced version of SimCity. This is a pretty well reviewed game. And let's go ahead and look at the options here. I've got pretty much everything on high. Um, yeah, so no problems there. And I haven't really played this game, so I'm just going to show you a general tour. And this game is extremely uh, CPU intensive. So if you don't have the CPU for this, it's probably not going to run that well. And this looks like a Twitter bird. And you do have to spend a lot of time on this game if you actually want to get into it. So I'm just really going to show you the basics, just kind of show you how it looks in here and some of the performance. Yeah, that really does look like a Twitter bird. So this game, um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, and this was one of the highest reviewed games of uh, 2016, maybe. And uh, it, a lot of people enjoyed this game. So let's see what we got here. So as you can see here, I can zoom out. You can scroll around and look at the city. Pretty cool. And so the whole premise is, just like SimCity, you're just going to build this city out. So here, you can build roads right out here cool and it does cost money just like sim city you could also build different buildings i'm not sure if you could do that here you probably have to lay out some land first so you probably have to do something like that or something yeah okay yeah so i'm not good at this game i haven't really played it at all so but as you can see on linux everything runs fine no problems at all it is a really huge game especially once your city starts building up this is probably where you're going to need a lot more cpu and, and gpu in order to handle all of this but i just want to show this to you um, another popular game that is running on linux and if i do get into this game further and i build out a city i'll come back to this and kind of show you what the performance is when you have a much bigger city okay next up gonna try some retro gaming or actually retro gaming graphics it's not really an old game but this is a hotline miami <laughs> it's really a unique game i would say it's got some cool music so yeah and if i remember correctly uh this is has a sequel as well so the graphics are very very simple it's an isometric game well, not an isometric, but an overhead game, so. Oh, check that out. I'm punching people. Hmm. Yes. Whoa. Yeah, very simple game. And I wouldn't expect this to be a problem at all for uh, my Linux machine, but this is a fun game in some parts you know it takes a while to get used to the controls and i think i'm in a stage where everything's really dark so i can't even get out of this okay so how did i get out <laughs> all right all right great killing the next guy okay so we got another old retro graphic game uh, super meat boy always a classic and i'm playing this with my uh, controller so actually I'm playing with my keyboard but it actually does better with a controller so I'm gonna have to get one yes <laughs> very uh, deceptively fun but simple game 
Yes. And as you can see, no problems running this. I, um, I really gotta give it to the developer to come up with this idea. Oh, this is a really unique idea. Um, okay. Oh. Okay. okay God, stop dying. Stop dying. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, this is. This is ingenious. I mean, if this would have came out back in the 16 bit days, I'm not sure it would have it would have uh, passed all the violent stuff, but because it is kind of violent, as a matter of fact. But the gameplay and everything, and this is classic. This is a game type of game that you could probably play 20, 30 years later, and uh, it'd still be fun. You know? Oh wow. Yes. Okay, so the final game I have here is another oldie but goodie, and that is Borderlands 2. So let's look at our graphic settings. I don't really want to change too much, so yeah, everything looks sweet. Resolution. Let's go ahead and make that match my screen. Right there, okay. Yes. And I've never even played the first Borderlands, so I'm not really sure what to expect. And uh, I don't know if I could skip this. I don't think I can. Okay, so that's kind of annoying. I couldn't actually get past this uh, uh, cutscenes. I, I still can't skip this. So, but just here you could kind of see some of the visual elements of it. Uh, this game did run on the Unreal Engine. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so I was finally able to get to the game. You can't skip the cutscenes, or at least I don't know how you would skip the cutscenes, but that was annoying. But as you can see here, I've chosen the character Zero. Uh, the graphics clean, cartoony, <laughs> not bad at all. And on average, um, with the screen recording, of course, I'm getting about 62 frames, as you can see in the top left. So definitely definitely playable more than playable and this is an older title so uh, 2k games have done a really good job of uh, taking games that were specifically built for windows and making them run really good on linux the other 2k game that i played before was um, the bioshock game and that turned out really well so as you can see here it looks really good I'm pretty sure if I played around the settings, I could probably get rid of some of these jaggies with anti-aliasing. But overall, this is really the type of experiences that you can actually expect right now if you were to get into Linux gaming. So as I showed you, there is a lot of variety. Um, there are more games that are coming out. And I think slowly but surely support is coming. And at the same time, once the Vulkan API becomes more readily available for people who develop games for Linux, it will be even better than it is now. So 
lots of good stuff coming so if you had any comments on gaming on linux be sure to leave them in the description area below and as always if you did get a lot of value out of these videos be sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel i'm also on patreon as well patreon.com front slash geek outdoors i'll have that in the description as well thanks for checking out this episode and as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.